Hi there, it's Cassidy with EXP Realty. And Bruna with Academy Mortgage. And we're here to talk to you a bit today about why you should buy a house and stop renting. Great, great topic. <laughs> great topic. So okay. let's let's ask you a few questions here. Let's get the down and dirty. Is it cheaper to buy or rent, Bruno? What's cheapest? It will depend. It will depend on where you live. It will depend on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, but I oftentimes do see people mortgage payments being in fact less than what they're paying for rent um, so it will really depend on you know what kind of property you're purchasing um, but normally you can come to us and say hey I don't want my payment to go above this amount how much house could I afford okay. in order to stick with that payment so we can we can certainly make it cheaper than renting in certain situations oh, that's awesome so is there any way that buying a house can help save me on taxes? Absolutely. If you buy a house as your primary residence, your mortgage interest may be interest may be deductible when you file your federal taxes and also a portion of your property taxes as well. Oh. So that can save you on that. Cool, that's awesome. So what does it mean to build equity in a property? So to build equity, it, equity is basically the value that your home will gain year after year. So let's say if you bought your home for 150000 in a year down the road, that home is worth 165000 you just built 15000 in equity. So when right. you sell that home, that would be the difference between what you owe and how much your home has increased in value would be what you take home minus any closing costs or anything like that. So it's kind of like you're retaining your, your rent money every month. Correct, correct. Wow. That's awesome. So do the payments change over the life of the loan? Like if I buy a house now, do I have to be scared that it's gonna go up next year? So there are two variables. First, so we need to, if your loan is a fixed rate loan, your principal and interest payment will not change. So the principal and interest payment will be for the life of the loan. However, your homeowner's insurance and your property taxes might change depending on if the value of your home goes up, your property taxes will follow, or if there are any claims or anything on your insurance, that will change. Those would be the two variables that would change your taxes and insurance if they're escrowed. But your principal and interest would stay the same. If the loan that you take is an adjustable rate loan, then your principal and interest would adjust year after year or after a certain number of years. So those are things that you certainly would would um, have to discuss with your mortgage lender. Okay, that makes sense. So with all that being said, how can I best take advantage of buying a house instead of renting a house? So what we see a lot, so Grand Junction, as you know, is a university town. Mm -hmm. um, we see a lot of people buy the property and then have roommates live with them and have the roommates pay them for rent, which in wow. turn can cover all of the mortgage payment or a big portion of it. Yeah. So in fact, you're paying the a smaller amount than you would for rent. You have your friends paying for the other portion of it as you're building your equity and taking advantage of the tax savings and everything like that. So we see that. Retaining your rent money and your friend's rent and money. And your friend's rent money. Wow. Yes. Well, thank you so much for explaining that, Bruna. You're welcome. <laughs>